I felt for a long time that vehicle braking distances needed some more coverage. I've been talking about them in presentations, but I wanted to do it here. So from 60 miles an hour, we're gonna have three different vehicles stop and we're gonna show you and then we're gonna go over the braking distances. Here's the first one. This is a full-size pickup truck from 60 miles an hour and we're doing it on a paddock area at a racetrack. The NCM Motorsports Park were kind enough to let us use their facility for this. And here's the first one. So as you can see, from 60 miles an hour to a stop, the full-size pickup took 153 feet. That was a very experienced driver of the pickup. He knows what he's doing and he was on the ABS the whole time. So that was a good stop. And we did two or three stops and just took the average numbers for the vehicles. Now here's an SUV or crossover, same thing from 60 miles an hour, full emergency stop to zero. And as you can see, this one is a little bit shorter, 126 feet from 60 miles an hour for this one. And then the last one is a sports car from 60 miles an hour, same thing. That was 85 feet. So here's a graphic representation of the three vehicles stopping. Full size pickup, 153, SUV, 126, and the sports car, 85 feet. When you consider that the average vehicle length for a passenger car is about 14 feet, you can see that there's like two car lengths between the SUV and the full-size pickup and about three car lengths between the sports car and the SUV. And that would be five full car lengths between the sports car and the full-size pickup. Uh, something to think about. With that in mind, I wanted to set up a little demonstration between the SUV and the sports car at an average tailgating difference of about two to three car lengths, which is something you can see every day on the freeway with people just following, or any road for that matter, but certainly on freeways, people following way too close. But this two to three car length thing is sort of a comfortable distance for tailgaters. And here we go. The SUV driver is expecting the sports car to stop which is something you would never know uh, in a tailgating situation. And we're doing the two to three car lengths, 60 miles an hour, and we'll look at the stopping distance. And here's the sports car. Like I said, the SUV knew they were gonna stop somewhere, just didn't know when, and they could not stop. There was no chance. That sports car can stop in 85 feet from 60 miles an hour. The SUV cannot possibly do that. And you see there two to three clear car lengths. That would have been a fairly solid rear end impact. The other thing about this is, it's not just about tailgating. When people pull out in front of another vehicle, think about what you're doing. Because if you're pulling out in front of somebody and it might, they might be in a large SUV, uh, following a, pulling a trailer or even a, a semi, a loaded semi, a loaded semi can probably not stop from 60 miles an hour and 300 feet. So you really need to understand braking distances when you're driving and it's something to think about maybe more than you did before.